Hello everyone. We recently purchased this gazebo from Costco and we really wanted the mosquito netting. And once we figured out that the only option that was out there was almost $600, we decided to go a different route. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to save a lot of money by purchasing a different option that we got from Amazon. I was just a click away from finally purchasing the Yardistry one, but I just couldn't get over the fact that it only came in zipper type and that wasn't gonna work for us. If there was one thing we learned from our old gazebo is that zipper is just not user-friendly at all. In this tutorial, I will show you what I did with my setup. In my case, I only needed three different ways of getting in and out of the gazebo shown here on this representation with the bright white lines. With only needing three magnetic openings for my layout is the reason why I purchased three 16 by 8 feet magnetic screens. And obviously if you would like to have a more symmetrical setup with four magnetic openings, you can easily purchase two 16 by 8 feet sections and two 8 by 8 feet sections that are also available. It will be a little bit more on cost, but you can actually achieve the symmetrical look of four magnetic openings. As you can see here, each kit will consist of the fiberglass screen, a couple of storage belts, Velcro, and also some thumbtacks for extra security when it comes to attaching the screen. You will start by applying the Velcro to the uppermost part of the cross members of the gazebo. This will ensure that the net itself has perfect clearance on the bottom. You will have plenty of Velcro left over, so in case you mess up, there's nothing wrong with just cutting it and starting all over again. If you're still watching, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Once the Velcro is installed, you will then apply the netting. And this process is very easy. Just keep track of where you want the magnetic openings to be. On each end piece, you'll want to make sure you overlap by just a border width to make sure that once you put the Velcro on that particular area, it'll be enough to overlap each net. Since you will have an excess of netting, it is recommended that you bend at least three and a half inches of netting at each column to keep it aesthetically pleasing. If you do that just right, you will notice that all the ends will line up perfectly. And if you end up having a little bit extra, you can always make adjustments and get it just right. Once you're happy with how the netting is laid out, you can then add the smaller strip of Velcro to all the end pieces and basically close them together. On each post, it is recommended that you use a screw with a washer for the netting and this helps with wind, pushing the net in and kind of getting in the way. And once you're done, you can then test out the best part of this particular setup. 
No more zippers and only retractable magnetic openings. I really can't say enough about how positive this installation was and how easy it was to make. It definitely saved us a lot of money and we definitely recommend. When it comes to storage, you can use the belt straps that come with the kit, or since it is Velcro, you can always just temporarily remove it out of the way. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and that if you're just like me, you're always trying to find a way to Keep it simple and also save a lot of money while doing so. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit like, share, and please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching.